What's up, Theater2100 and YouTube World? Today I will be discussing a little bit about the Baki, a famous Greek tragedy brought to you by Euripides. I am your discussion week number two, group leader for group number two. So to get started, let me give you a little bit of inside info about us. So for discussion week number two, we had a three-person group consisting of myself, Sebastian, Shelby Gonterman, and also Kim Nguyen. Apologies if I mispronounced that. It could also be Kim Nguyen. So to get started, our chat lasted about 30 minutes long, including technical difficulties and first-time experiences connecting with Common Connect. And in my opinion, as group leader, I felt that everyone prepared equally for the discussion and contributed equally. Especially for having three members, I think we all did so in a spectacular fashion, so hooray, good job guys. Uh, about the Baki. So me personally, I love Greek mythology, and I've read several tragedies before, such as Sophocles' The Oedipus Rex, so this was all at the same alley, and I found it to be equally as interesting. To get into the discussion a little bit, our biggest question entering day number one was, how in the world do you pronounce the book title? So, our group consensus was the Baki, and today I'm rolling with that. But entering the day of the discussion, everyone had their own interpretations and ideas on how to pronounce the Baki. The protagonist of this play was Pentheus. He was also our tragic hero. And in case you were or are unfamiliar with the tragic hero, a tragic hero is somebody of noble birth with heroic qualities and uh, Pentheus for example he was fated by the gods for doom, destruction and at the very least a great deal of suffering which is all very unfortunate but it is true. Our group found most interesting that Pentheus translates itself to man of sorrows and because Pentheus translates to Man of Sorrows, this marked him for tragedy before the story ever began. Dionysus, on the other hand, was the antagonist of this play, but our group viewed him as a sympathetic character and not a villain. Uh, we saw him as beautiful and fearful, divine and human, and he offered Pentheus numerous chances to save the city of Thebes and to finally worship uh, Dionysus as a true and rightful god. So. Some of the questions we had entering uh, the day of the discussion were, why did Dionysus have so many names, number one? And also, during the chorus, what did the strophe, refrain, antistrophe, refrain again, and then epode signify? Uh, going on, the most inciting moment of the Baki in our group opinion was the exchange of power between Pentheus and Dionysus. Toward the end of the play, uh, Dionysus deceived Pentheus into dressing as a woman. He was emasculated, paraded into the dark mountains alongside Dionysus, only to be beheaded by his mother, who was under the impression that she beheaded a mountain lion. So she comes back into the city holding the head of this mountain lion aka her son Pentheus and Cadmus the grandfather of Pentheus was in shock he was the one who revealed to his mother Agave what actually did end up happening so this was all very tragic uh, going on our play loved sorry our group loved the witty banter of this play uh, especially between Tiresias, Dionysus, and Pentheus. And uh, lastly, we are excited to read Richard III next week, so we will see you next time, Theater2100 and YouTube World. Thank you.